Bairstow leaves it behind. Kent gets his left foot to the ball, kicks it wide. Bruns leads in the race for the ball. It sits for him, and he gets his kick away, up towards half forward. And Lamb will see it over for a boundary throw. -in. The crowd calling for a free kick, but surely, in this tight struggle to the line, the umpires will let the play go all the way. Burke and Jakovic. Burke in front. Gets it down. Gary Hockey. Scott, deep in the pocket. Scott goes for goal. Worst bowl and Mansfield. Worst bowl, well done. Land. Oh, down goes Merriman. Still the umpire to blow the whistle and eventually calls for a bounce about 20 metres from the Geelong goal. Didn't see that kicking in danger, and so just there, if you want to call it that, was exactly the same as the free kick was played down here on the flank in the previous quarter. There's our time clock. Burke, it favours him. He gets his foot to the ball. It kicks it close to the line. And it bounces just inside the boundary line. So we'll have a throw in in the right forward pocket for Geelong. They trail by 11 points. And it's been an absolute titanic struggle here at Waverley. This Coast Eagles getting off to a good start. Leading by 22 points at quarter time. Burke again has the football. Gets his foot to it. Still close to the boundary line. Kick off the ground by Merriman, was it? Over into the opposite forward pocket. And it goes over for a boundary throw in. Six and three quarter minutes remain. Deep in Geelong's attacking zone. They trail by 11 points. The score needed. But it's Lamb. Close to the boundary line. Brun steals it. Gets a short little kick. Only as far as worst bowl. Who pumps it back towards halfback. Couch forced to defend. Couch a chance again. But this time it's half. Spins out of trouble. Swings up towards centre wing. Christensen held. Pushed towards the boundary line. Petty gives chase. His tackle is too high on Lamb. And the umpire says he'll have a ball up. Watch this again. I think the arms came underneath. The arm there of Petty underneath. Spencer. Has a look up forward. Pumps it long. In towards full forward he goes. No mark taken. Scott, can he get clear? Robert Scott, the reject is back. He shoots in towards goal and he puts it through. Burke going for the big bash. Out wide to half forward. Bairstow just a little late. McKenna, Poole. Tight. Beat for it by Couch. In comes Scott. Has he livened up the game? Robert Scott to full forward. Stone and Mansfield falls over. Critical. Westfold comes away with the footy. Back towards the centre. The mark is taken by Waters. He plays on. He can't get the hand pass away. No, he goes for the kick. And the mark is taken low. He drops it, Grinny. Kicks it across his body. Now the Geelong side under pressure again. Turley to Matera. Could have been deemed a throw. Matera's short pass. Lewis can't mark. Play on to the umpire. They've swallowed their whistle. Matera. Still Geelong in the back line. Oh, Lewis has pinched it. It's a play on his own in the square. Sumich is going to get his six. Sumich has kicked six. Unbelievable scenes here at Waverley. Sumich is down, but West Coast have got their tenth goal and they lead again by 11 points. Yeah, Tim Darcy a bit stiff there. He's picked the ball, trying to keep it in play on the boundary line. That's just what's quickly as soon as he's kicked here. The player coming across him. Not as much of that at all. But it was Darcy trying to get the handball back into play to a teammate. In fact, uh, he just cued it. And they had the Eagles through Lewis to set that up. Four minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Counting down. From the centre. Put a hockey. The half forward. No mark taken. The long needs the next one rapidly. McKenna, clever little kick, chipping it out wide. Right towards the boundary line. Tired legs, still pumping. And another throw. Four minutes. Out Perhaps feeling that that last goal could have been the final nail. Runs, 
Lambert's still battling. He's claimed by Lambert. He gets the handball away. Does it again. It's straight to Waters. Towards Harford. Wilson and Rogers. Wilson hammers it further afield. It goes over the line. He's going probably 15 metres. Well, they've had their chances, July, haven't they? Yep. Put it in a goal twice. What, three goals, seven in this final quarter. The Eagles have it almost down to their 50 metre line. Rogers now under pressure from Wilson. Darcy comes in over the top, picks it up. Kicks back towards centre wing, but it's wide. It's out of bounds on the full. And so the Eagles, with under three minutes remaining, it'll be Brennan who will bring it back into play. Brennan is about uh, three kicks from goal. He kicks it up towards the 50 metre line. Rogers from behind, punches it away. Close to the boundary line, it's pushed over in front of the small scoreboard, so we'll have a boundary throw in. Geelong need everything in their favour now because they've got to kick two goals in two and a half minutes and all players very tired. Burke and Jakovic. Burke gets the tap down, but it goes to Hart. Hart will run into an open goal and kick a goal. Back in the centre. Just over two minutes left. Burke can't get at it. Kick off the ground through Brunza's legs. Spencer must kick it off the ground. No, he misses it. Christensen. Handball to Brunza slips over. Brennan. Back it comes towards Christensen. Wilson has the football. Ball slips out of his hand. Hockey tries to chip it to Couch. Wilson gets the football out. But Geelong are there through Rogers. A quick kick goes out to the wing. Waterman kicks it off the ground. Close to the boundary line. It goes over for a boundary throw in front of Bairstow. And the Eagles really not concerned at all about boundary throw-ins as the crowd starts to filter out of VFL Park. Geelong have put up a pretty good effort in this last quarter. Kent. Kick off the ground. Chance for Scott again. Ball rebounds to Couch. Couch will kick it up to the 50 metre line. No mark taken. Back goes Worsfold with strength. He's pushed off the football. His kick has been marked. No, Hart drops it. Goes back to centre half back. Matera leaves it. Land gets around. Onto the right foot goes Jamie Land. A kick up to the goal front. Mansfield can't mark. Leaves it for Scott. Left foot shot by Scott. Is it's the most. Robert Scott has kicked two goals, four. And Geelong trail by 16 points. Robert, I'm sure that Malcolm Blight will be asking his players post-game why the effort they've given in this quarter wasn't given in the previous three. Ken Hinkley can only look on. Mark Lockyer having one of his final kicks back in for the day. The Eagles are going to create history. Besto. Doesn't give up yet. He pumps Geelong back into the forward line once more for another behind. They're going to march into their first grand final. Their opponents will be Hawthorne. The venue will be right here. VFL Park. Back into play once more. Brennan got the ride. Bruns at the back. Flicks it round his body, up towards full board. Waters is there to defend. His left foot kick is high. Still inside 50 for Geelong. Lamb may get them out. He does to Hart. He's running on David Hart. Up over centre wing. Spencer leading in the race with Brennan. Spencer still going. Gets a little hand pass to gain some meterage. Steve Hocking is there. He goes over the line with him is Brett Hetty. But that's the ball going. First grand final in a wonderful display, a gritty fight. They withstood the challenge, and Michael Malthouse will guide his side next week against Hawthorne. The final scoreline here at the BFL Park shows the West Coast 11 13 79, Geelong 8 16 64, the eventual margin 15 points. And the Eagles, while allowing themselves a smile, still know there's work to be done. They've now become a very professional outfit, but they're wrapped to have a chance at the flag. Well, final score set, 8 16. Only just as soon as the Eagles scored three for a time, 8 12. So really, they would have had to have kept the Eagles 
well, pretty well goalless in the last term to win the game. But they did kick 3-9 in the last quarter, which they could say cost them the game. Damien Burke, Mark Bairstow. There's probably the best player on the ground, Ashley McIntosh. An 18-year-old who's come into senior football. And they deserve their victory. They oh, set it up, didn't they? In the first quarter, yep. they kicked four six to one two. And then they held Geelong in the second term, which was very important. Geelong only able to kick 1-4 with the breeze. And the Eagles kicked 2-3 against it. They led by 27 points at half-time and held on and won. Well, quite well in the finish. Yes, that final scoreline for you once again. West Coast Eagles 11-13-79. Geelong 8-16-64.